Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, we're out here uh, a day from leaving for Lake Gunnersville, Alabama for the, uh, the Knucklehead Am K uh, Kayak Amateur Championships, all the kayak bass fishing uh, challenge up there in Alabama. Uh, really great event. I qualified for it, so can't wait to get on the road. A little 10 hour drive, but uh, we're gonna make a little vacation out of it, a little fishing, and uh, it's gonna be great. But so today I wanted to get out here. Uh, I wanted to give you a walk through the kayak, some of the upgrades I've been doing to it, trying to get ready for Gunnersville. And I pretty much have it 90% of where I wanna be, uh, which is good enough to go. So uh, before we get out on the lake, I wanna give you a run through and we'll hopefully catch some fish for you. So let's uh, give you just a little quick view of the kayak. You've been following my series on the Magellan. Trying to get ready for Guttersville. So we've done some upgrades. Uh, some of the quick upgrades, you see my video on the crate. Got two suctions here, one for all your tackle storage, one for kind of like a dry storage. It's all uh, sealed, waterproof. Got the old, a little dirty, I gotta clean that off, but little laser of the logo there. Uh, we have enough storage for eight rods and nine if you want to lay one next to you but eight's plenty um we got the tie down straps here we're holding it down with bungees um i did my homemade seat risers right here uh, um actually also had this backpack cooler just laying around so it's perfect uh put my uh, my freezer packs in there some um, you know snacks whatever right now it's got water in it but uh, here's also a really great addition this is one of the cons I didn't like about this only one of like two or three cons I didn't like about this kayak was the seat very uncomfortable if you're out there for a few hours so uh, actually walked into uh academy one day and they had these right there we walk in they're actually stadium seats but it works perfect for the kayak this sits in there it actually has an armrest goes up and down very comfortable um i can sit out here six eight hours which we will be on gunnersville so uh another addition when i catch a fish i usually put uh, in the net and lay it uh crossways across the bow right here so got me a uh, yak attack uh, paddle holder or net holder so I can just put it in there so I don't have to worry about it falling out. Uh, put the Laurent's HDS Live on there. Um, it's got 2D, it's got down scope, it's got side scope uh, or side scan. It pretty much has everything right there but lies, uh, you know, but the live. So uh, it's going to do great looking for a lot of structure when we go out there. So works great. I'll show you what we have that hooked up to soon. Um, of course, smoking fins. I got to put my uh, Florida registration number on there today because we are leaving. Got the old Minn Kota uh, 34 foot pound thrust on here and it is hooked up. Uh, kind of like it made. I got a got this off of Amazon. Kind of, I didn't. There's no way you can drill into the hole here or the bow because there's no way of getting inside of it. So I kind of made a homemade uh, holder for it. Works great. It's not pretty, but it works great. We have on the Minn Kota uh, Autobot system. This is a GPS run. Um, your trolling, your trolling motor, auto boat right there. Uh, keep that in there. Keep you know, keep it dry even though it is waterproof. Extra storage right there. Uh, the old remote around my neck. You can also use your phone app. I did have the HDS uh, right here, the Laurent's here, but I moved it over here just 
don't know why I just thought it'd be better over there and first time I fished with it today not too bad action actually I don't have to lean forward to uh, touch the buttons or anything like that so uh, again you can't really uh, get inside the hole here so went to the old dollar store and got these uh, let's see them better right there ran my wire off the side here doesn't really get in the way goes underneath the seat risers and right up into my battery box that I just built uh, that's pretty much it the battery box here a uh, little box from Walmart um, I have both my batteries in there I got my trolling motor battery in there a little power queen 12 uh, 12 8 50 amp hours and I got another 12 volt uh, 12 amp hours right there for runs and a bunch of wiring in there uh, boom I got the gauge on here, on off, um, USB ports right here, and also kind of cigarette lighter right here, another 12 volt source if you got an adapter right there. So right there. Uh, and that runs, which one of my partners on the channel is Yolo Tech. Uh, this is the 53 inch power power stick right here uh, it's got two USBs right here uh, new navigation light they just came out with so you don't have to get an extra uh, uh, pole for your navigation light and my old Hero 4 GoPro uh, had a 10 but kind of got wet and ruined it and just I haven't done it so I'm running two Hero 4s one on the back one on the front uh, and it powers out pretty good. So that's all control connected to the, uh, the 12 amp hour battery. And, uh, and the fish finder is also controlled by the 12 amp hour battery. So all that's connected on the, the old uh, battery box there. I did a, another video on a different battery box. I like this one much better, it fits in there perfectly. And uh, got the nice flag here, and that's pretty much it. All the, uh, also from Yellow Tech, um, they make this for the kayak. Goes right to your your rail right here, screws right in there. This is your power source for your uh, power stick right here. So it works great for the kayak. Love it. Uh, can't thank Yellow Tech enough for what they do. There's the old power stick. And that whole system just works great right there. So there's my quick setup. Um, you know, I can't can't say enough about the Magellan. You know, it's got a lot, it's got a few cons in it. You know, one was a seat, one you can't get into the hole. Yeah, I could drill, put a, a you know, a screw in top in there do I can get in there but I just don't want to do it I kind of want to leave it right where it's at I haven't done any drilling at all on this so I want to keep it in case I do sell it which might happen might not but um everything's great the other con was the uh, you know the steering I just don't like how really not really wide enough to turn this thing but it works great with the trolling motor now so uh, that was one of the key things I, I, putting the trolling motor on with the auto boat I can just click it on navigate point it in straight line and it goes I can just control the speed and I can fish all day long so it's great I did a video on that also if you want to check out the auto boat but other than that there's my rundown of my kayak hope you all like it hope you guys get some ideas on it um so let's go fishing hopefully we'll catch a couple fish and then uh we are lake gunnersville bound